The first thing I'm going to be working on today is the rear brakes. Um, I got some new calipers for the car. They're for an Infiniti G20. It's the same OEM style um, caliper, but I'm going to use a larger caliper mounting bracket. Um, spaces the breakout a little bit more. It lets you run a larger rotor. Uh, same thickness, but a larger diameter. Now they are different bolt spacings. Um, the Pulsar uses a 4x100 stud pattern and the new rotors are a uh, 4x114. So I'm just going to have to re-drill these for them to work on the car. Oh yeah, this heat shield is in the way. But yeah, look at that. She goes. Test it this way. Blam! Like I said, they gotta just trim this heat shield because this rotor is a little bit bigger. So. Also, I'm gonna be painting these rear calipers blue to match the front. Um, I know this isn't caliper paint, but I figured if I threw on some uh clear coat caliper clear coat it might protect at least against like brake fluid and stuff i really don't think the back brakes are gonna get that hot um so we'll see how she goes if it flakes off then i'll figure out something else maybe get them powder coated or something all right i think we're gonna keep plugging away getting this ac compressor out um let's see what it involves here so I'm doing an AC delete because, well, for one thing, I live in northern Canada, and um, it, I'm pretty sure this pump is totally cooked, because something is making a really horrible noise. I don't really think, actually, it's going to be that difficult to get this thing off. I can pretty much see all the bolts now. I mean, I am replacing the rad, too, so maybe I should just pull the rad first. That's not a bad idea. All right, let's change gears here. Let's pull the rad. Turn off my music, so I don't get sued. All right, we got her out. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Bye. Yeah, I'll show you what I was talking about. With this pump. I'm pretty sure. Not supposed to sound like that. Making a little bit of progress here. I ended up pulling the turbo. Um, there's this one bolt right here that is like pretty much impossible to get off um, because the block is like right here on this motor. Um, I, I don't know how I got it off before because I've done this before. I think it was missing to be honest with you. Be this this nut was missing so they tend to just like fall off after a little while so and m many of them were loose and a lot of the um manifold studs were loose too so i mean it's not a big deal just to pull this off um i've been able to check the turbo there's actually quite a bit of oil um pulled down like in here um, so I think probably the bearing, uh, or like the seal, the oil seal on the turbo is cooked. Um, I have rebuilt them before. Uh, eventually the turbo is going to get replaced probably with something else. So, um, maybe I'll just leave it for now. 
rather than cracking that thing open, rebuilding, although it's already off the car. But there's a decent amount of shaft play um, and some oil pulled in there, so. Hmm, maybe I will order a new oil seal for it. Um, anyway, this is the car now. Honestly, I have no idea. Hopefully it's in the video how these vacuum lines hooked up uh, to the wastegate. Do not remember. Hopefully it's in there somewhere. Anyway, uh, I think I have a whole gasket set for this motor, so shouldn't be a big deal getting this back on. And then I can start putting my exhaust on. So let's go check that out. So this is my new turbo elbow. Um, from AM Performance. I They did the exhaust for my last Pulsar that I owned. Alright, this is a pretty nice piece because it um, divides the wastegate. Uh, so you get less like surging when the wastegate opens. Um, it's a lot smoother, I find. Um, and then this time I went with a screamer pipe. Um, so when the wastegate opens, it's just dumped straight out. Straight out. So, and I do have a muffler now. Before I was pretty much just straight pipe. So when I'm just cruising around, it should be pretty quiet. And then when I'm full gas, it'll open up that screamer pipe and make a little bit more noise. And with it off like this, it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to tighten this new elbow on. After a good struggle and a little help from the Sawzall, I was able to get the old exhaust out. So here's the old versus the new. So the new is a full three inch system. I really hope I can get it in there because the old system was really tight. So who knows? It's definitely gonna take some persuasion. Yeah, there you go, there's a new system. Definitely shiny. I cannot wait to hear how it sounds. So just working away here on the exhaust. Um, <clears throat> I got the muffler in and it actually fit, I mean I don't want to get too excited because I know exhaust can be a big pain in the butt, especially like a full system. Um, the, oh, let's get a light here, a little dark. Yeah, here's the muffler. So far everything's lining up really nice and like I say, I say that with a bit of apprehension because these things can be a really big pain in the butt to install. But um, yeah, it looks awesome. <laughs> looks pretty stock. I got a titanium tip right on the end there. Little AM performance laser etched in there. So yeah, the muffler went in fine. All the mounting points are the same. The guys built a few Pulsar systems before, so this one should line up pretty good. So yeah, I'm working on that. Get the alternator in there. Uh, it needs a shorter belt because I got rid of the AC pump. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Lots of room in here now to work. Okay, another day of work done on the Pulsar. Um, what did we get done today? We got some stuff painted for, these are just getting primed before I hit them with the blue for the rear brake calipers. There, I got all the old exhaust system out and then the old scrap pile. I got the AC out, the compressor, this gnarly AC mounting bracket, got that out of there. Um, what else? I got the rear muffler kind of like mocked in. Eh. It's looking pretty cool. And I drilled my brake rotors, my rear brake rotors, drilled them for the 4x100 pattern. Um, 
Got a bunch done on the front and decided to take the whole turbo off. It's just easier that way. Um, I got the elbow mocked up there too. That's it for today. I got one more day off before I go back to work. I got kind of a weird work schedule. So I think I'm going to be gone for about 10 days uh, before I can get back here and do some more work. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for now.